Generating traffic and sales can be a challenge for online merchants. But selling on the Walmart marketplace puts your products in front of millions of customers who shop on walmart.com. And right now, sellers who join Walmart Marketplace can save up to 50% on referral and fulfillment fees for the first 90 days. So get started today. Head over to marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. That's marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. Welcome to Merchant Talk by Practical E-Commerce. I'm Kerry Murdoch. When it comes to marketing, many merchants think of pay-per-click ads or search engine optimization or even email newsletters. But there's one merchant who has successfully used TV advertising. He's Jamie Salvatore, founder and owner of VAT19.com, and he uses Google's TV ad interface via the AdWords platform to great effect. He's here today to explain TV advertising and Google's TV ad interface to us. Well, Jamie, thank you for your time today. Uh, I'm glad to be back. Jamie, you mentioned in your last interview with us, that it was an interesting interview that you had, uh, that you offered to us, and you mentioned about your company's success with Google TV ads. So this is a follow-up interview on the subject of Google TV ads based on your experience with that advertising form. And my first question for you would be, what are Google TV ads? Um, well, the Google TV ad platform allows anyone, uh, businesses of any size, including very small businesses, to advertise on TV. Um, so it's really just a system for allowing um, businesses to get their television commercials aired. So there's nothing really different about your ads per se. If you happen to have existing television ads, you can you know, put them through the Google TV ad platform. Um, but essentially, it's a AdWords-like system for getting your TV ads on the air. Uh, there's a couple caveats to that, though, is that um, for most of the networks, you're only getting airtime through Dish Network. So what I mean by that is um, if you were to use, if you wanted your ad to play on Comedy Central, for instance, it's only going to play on Comedy Central in homes that have Dish Network. They do have some uh, networks, uh, some stations, uh, where um, your ad would be nationwide. Uh, but the majority of them are only going through Dish Network TV uh, households, which actually you know, isn't the worst thing for small businesses because that brings the price down um, quite you know, quite a bit versus, you know, running a nationwide Comedy Central ad, for instance. So that's what really attracted us to that whole system is that we could get in there, we could get some pretty good frequency without having to spend, you know, an absolute fortune. So where do users or our listeners, where do they access Google TV ads? What part of the Google site is that under? Well, once you're signed up, you're actually, you'd actually be doing all of the management through your AdWords account. But to get there initially, I would suggest um, just doing a, a Google search for Google TV ads, and then you'll be able to, to find uh, a ton of information about it. You know, that's how I learned about it. And, um, uh, yeah, that's how you get to it. It's under the AdWords interface, as I recall. So it's google.com forward slash adwords forward slash tv ads would that be it uh correct yeah walk us through the process with google tv ads jamie uh first 
for example, how does a merchant create a TV spot? Do they have to have a spot made before they before they start with Google TV ads? I don't believe you do. I mean, um, my business is slightly unique in the fact that you know we have a history in video production, so we actually make our own uh, commercials ourselves here. But uh, one thing that I've seen Google mention often is they have this uh, marketplace where you can go and find companies that provide the service of creating TV commercials and, you know, hook up with them. And, and they understand the Google TV ads uh, uh, platform because when your bot is completed, um, you actually just upload the file to Google and you can upload you know, as many commercials as you want. You can have them uh, rotate different ones. Um, so it's a pretty cool system versus you know, what you had to do in the quote unquote old days of you know making all these copies of tapes and uh, mailing them to all these different stations around the, the country now you just um, just upload it and uh, I, I think actually Google might even have a system where you can use these kind of like templated TV commercials where you you know where you can insert you know your own they've got sort of this templated visual content and then you you add your own audio content to it and and there's uh services where you get a professional to you know to read the voiceover uh, so you can make you know a pretty professional and quality tv commercial uh through their system without having to spend a ton of money it's pretty awesome how much how much for a, a merchant listening to this how much can a merchant expect to pay if they tried to use, if they'd use as as many as the uh, uh, as many of the do-it-yourself tools as they can, how much would a merchant need to pay? Well, if you were um, very dedicated to not having to put a lot of money out of the pocket, you you know you could make uh, you could probably make the commercial yourself on your own using some uh, your own editing software or, or what have you, and um, you could then probably buy just one spot for probably like $50 yeah. um, and, and, and get it on the air there. So, yeah, you can do it, you know, without spending a ton of money. But, you know, the, the thing about TV advertising is that, you know, you have to get a frequency going. So it'd be a little foolish to just run one ad and, and, and be done with it unless you were, I don't know, spending a couple million for a Super Bowl ad. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. What about tracking? I know your your company, Vat Nineteen. You've, of course, used Google TV ads. How do you, how do you, or maybe you don't track the effectiveness of those TV ads? Well, you know, it's not going to be the same as, you know, the tracking that comes with uh, your, your online, you know, pay per click AdWords. Uh, you're not going to get you know, that kind of um, data what what you're probably going to have to do is you know get information from your customers did you see our tv ad or how did you find out about us uh, a lot of people have probably seen that on websites when you're completing the checkout process you know oftentimes there's a question there that says you know how how did you hear about us and that's what we do on our website and we have um you know somewhere between 85 and 90 percent of our customers answer that question so it's not going to put a lot of people off. They'll take the four seconds to answer it. So you just you know, make that a question. Um, you know, did you find this through a search engine, a magazine ad, TV ad, and mm -hmm. you can sort of track it that way. But you're not going to be able to um, track, you know, well, what what TV ad did did they see and when. So it's you know it's still you know TV advertising is still quote unquote traditional advertising where there isn't you know quite as much uh, tracking uh, there's some other things that you could do you know you could um, you could put you know one eight hundred numbers on your ad and you could put actually you could put different one eight hundred numbers on all of your ads and then have um, you know they have these systems out there they're called virtual PBX systems which is how small businesses can can get sort of a professional kind of phone system going. So you could have multiple 800 numbers all sort of route to the same phone number, and you could track how many calls you got 
through those different 1-800 numbers. So that's a little bit more set up. Google doesn't provide that for you, but it's something you could do to, uh, to track. Based on the responses that your customers have, have said in terms of where they found you, based on those responses, Google TV ads have worked out well for you. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, we've been really pleased um, yep. because you know we've uh, we've had quite a bit of success with the Google TV ads, and um, you know compared to how we used to have to buy TV advertising, which was you know through um, either an individual cable company or an advertising agent or um, you know, directly with the network or station that you want to be on, it's easier, it's faster, it's less expensive, and it's more transparent and you have more control. And you can start and stop your ads whenever you want. Traditionally, if you go and do a TV campaign, they're going to say, all right, this is, you know, we're going to try to run your ads, say, 40 times in the next uh, four weeks or something like that. And you're locked into that four weeks. If you get a week into it and you decide, this, I just, I don't want to do this, you can't stop. I mean, you're going to have to pay, um, probably already put a payment of half down, but you might have to pay the whole thing and just let it ride. Um, so with the Google TV ads, you know, it's kind of very similar to AdWords uh, text or pay-per-click, you know, online ads where you can just, boom, pause that campaign you don't think it's working or change the bid that you're willing to pay on that advertising. So it's, it's a way different system than how you traditionally buy TV ads. You mentioned the number earlier, I think it was a hypothetical number of $50 a spot. Uh, how is cost established on Google TV ads? Well, it's actually a, a bidding system, which is pretty interesting. And what you do is you, you, know, you for each um, uh, you know, station and, and, and time frame or whatever that you're, that you're bidding on, you pick a daily budget, how much you're willing to, to pay for the whole day. Then you also pick um, a, a cost per thousand bid, meaning you know how much you're willing to pay per thousand people uh, or thousand households, I suppose, that see your advertisement. So you're bidding against you know, other companies. So you could set, say, a daily budget of, you know, Know, fifty dollars, and then you could bid uh, seventy-five cents, a dollar per per thousand impressions, and based on how many people see your ad, and that's what you end up paying. So, um, and and because it's a bidding system, like how the other Google stuff works, is you know if if you bid a, a you know a dollar, but the winning bid is you know is eighty-one cents, then you pay eighty-one cents or whatever. So. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting, and with that daily budget number, I think what they do, but I might be wrong, I think what they do is they look at your daily budget number, say it's $100, and they multiply it by 30 days in a month, and they will not let you spend over $3,000 in a month, but you, you might be able to exceed that amount for one day. I, I don't know, that's getting into a lot more details, with, you know, anyone can read through their website, but... You know, it, it gives you budget control. You can turn the thing um, you know, on and off. You can change those bids as much as you want. You can change the, the times when your ads run. You can, uh, you can uh, include or exclude certain programs. You know, let's say you want to be on uh, TLC, but you do want to be on K plus 8 or don't want to be on K plus 8 or whatever. You can do that type of stuff uh, just right there through there. AdWords system, so you have a ton of control. Jamie, for your business, vat19.com, what other forms of marketing do you do in addition to, you, you do Google TV ads, what else do you do to bring customers to your site? Well, we use um, you know, we do paid search through uh, AdWords and um, Microsoft's uh, system. Mm -hmm. um, uh Bing. Those are our two actual, you know, main forms of advertising. Uh, another, yeah, I wouldn't call it advertising, but you know, we spend a lot of time working on search engine optimization. 
Yeah. Um, we do email marketing. Uh, but, yeah, those are our, actually two main ways for us to gain customers. So your TV ads, uh, which we're discussing here, that's almost a supplement to your two primary methods, uh, Google AdWords and Microsoft Ad Center. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. We just have another minute or so here. Jamie, anything else on your mind for our listeners, of course? Our listeners are smaller e-commerce merchants that are always looking for ways to get more customers to their site. I think Google TV ads should be something that uh, uh, any merchant um, should seriously consider and look at um, for a couple of reasons. A, your, your competitors um, probably aren't going to be on TV because many people don't know that you can do this or they don't think that they can make a TV spot without spending you know, thousands and thousands of dollars, but, but you can. Um, the other thing to keep in mind with TV advertising is that it does not work overnight. You have to get it, give it time, and you have to find a particular market or segment that you think matches you know, what you're selling, and you have to show them your ad over and over and over again. You know, there's a rule that people have to see an ad at least three times before they'll remember it um, and who the company is. So if you think about that, you've got to you know, have your ad running a lot and go for frequency and not reach, meaning you know, don't go for you know, half a million or millions of millions upon people have seen your ad. Maybe concentrate on a smaller amount but make sure that the frequent number of times they see your ad is high. Um, if the advertising, it takes a while to pick in. We had to run it months before we started covering the costs of the TV advertising. And then you know, some months after that, before we started making um, money from it. So it's, it's a long-term investment, but it, it can snowball on itself. So it's you got to have a different mindset going into it and with your pay-per-click where you start running that and you expect to see conversions right away and you know, within a few days you know if that little campaign is working. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you do that, if you don't give it time, you will just throw the money away. So my biggest piece of advice is you know, uh, don't give up no, going into it that you're going to give it at least maybe three months before you give up on it. Okay. Well, for purposes of our listeners, we've been visiting with Jamie Salvatore. Jamie is founder and owner of a very successful e-commerce site called VAT19. I'm going to spell that. That's V as in Victor, A as in Apple, T as in Tom, the number one and the number nine. That's VAT19.com. Jamie's site sells unusual gift items. We've been discussing Jamie's success with Google TV ad program and running TV ads via the Google TV ad interface. That's at google.com forward slash adwords forward slash TV ads. And Jamie Salvatore, the founder and owner of vat19.com. As always, we want to thank you for your time today, sir. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Mm-hmm.